kicked out as in I would have had to leave in the middle of the semester with like two or three weeks left. What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. It's I say this every time I haven't filmed in a minute. It's so crazy to be filming again and I have so much to catch you guys up on but you guys will actually see that in a the next vlog or you guys will actually see that in the vlog but this video is a first semester recap. I officially finished my first semester and I know that the last time I spoke to you guys I was supposed to be starting in April and there was just a whole fiasco with that. I mean not really but I was supposed to be starting in April, but I didn't get one of my paperworks done in time, but I wasn't told or made aware until a day or two before classes started. So my start date did get pushed back to August. So I started August 4th and I just finished my first semester. Well, I actually finished Friday and I am filming this on November 1st. So happy first day of November. And you guys are actually getting this video tonight as well. I'm, I say this every time, but I'm officially back uh it just feels good and overall this semester felt good kind of kind of not um but yeah so number one is that if you don't know I didn't even properly introduce myself what is up you guys if you are new here my name is Jordan I am now a second semester nursing student um and if you are a returning subscriber then thank you so much for coming back now that we got the points out I am a second semester nursing student and uh, we are just going to today we're just going to be going over first semester I'm giving you guys a first semester recap I wanted to film my entire first semester I I picked up my phone at times and I did record some things but I don't know time just wouldn't feel great I wanted to give you guys week in the life but my first semester consisted of me being home a fairly decent amount of time and each semester not each semester and each day was kind of the same thing so i go to school monday through friday from 8 a.m to 3 p.m unless it is my skills lab day or my clinical lab day so skills lab consisted of me going from 8 to 10 45 and that was one day and then i would do nothing after or like i would just bang out some homework so i didn't want to just give you guys like boring content and i know like some content is better than no content but me personally i couldn't do that i didn't want to do that and so i just didn't want to do that i wanted to give you guys something to actually watch something that you guys would actually enjoy and i don't want to make i'm i don't want to make my sit down videos too long this one's just going to be a little bit longer because it is me coming back again i know it's like my third time it's like my third official i'm back but this one this one feels good because this semester i'm going to actually have something to give you guys i'm going to clinical i'm going to skills lab uh i am actually going to start being on campus full time now so monday through friday i'm on campus there's no more days at home this week and a little bit of next week i believe that we do have a few days at home while we just figure things out because we do have some first semester students who are starting but you guys are getting content you guys are getting life of an lpn student you know and so i am excited about that now that that is over let's get into my first semester recap so if you guys actually see me looking down it's because i'm looking at, at my ipad because i made notes so okay first semester i started my semester on august 4th and like i said majority of the time we were online my clinical was online let's get into my schedule and i did just tell you guys that a little bit but i went to school and i still go to school monday through friday from 8 a.m to 3 p.m and i was mixed so for lecture i would go on to campus twice a week and then i would be home the other day and then for so then for skills lab i would be home one day skills lab clinical i would be home one day and then i would go onto campus another so that gives you my schedule of five times a week so then yeah i went to school from eight to three and it wasn't like the worst but honestly going to school having to be there at 8 a.m meaning having to wake up at six o'clock it is a full-time job that is a that is a true full-time job that I was not used to. So I most definitely did struggle a little bit with that. And by a little bit, I mean a lot of it. Some days were easier than most, but while I was in school, I also was still working my bartending job. So I dropped down to two days a week. And one of the days is during the week just to make like a little bit extra money. 
And so I would get out of class at three and I had to be to work at three, but my job was very understanding that I had school. So sometimes I would get out of class at like 2.45, 3 o'clock and then get to work by 3.30 and then be there all night until about 10.30, 11.30, anywhere between those times and then come home, possibly bang out homework if I had to, shower, go to sleep and then wake up at 6 a.m. the following day. So I only did that Thursdays and then Friday I would go to school and Thursdays where I was home and Friday I would go to campus so I'd be a little tired but you know I persevered I survived barely but I survived so that was that and that actually and I'm leaning back because we chatting honey <laughs> that actually gets into my topic or like my next subject of a little bit of attendance so for my school, you were allowed to miss 37.5 hours of school. And you might think to yourself, wow, that's a lot. No, it actually racks up pretty quick. And I almost got dismissed for it. Yeah, I know. And I almost got dismissed for going over my hours. So sometimes I wouldn't go to my 8 a.m. class, which was anatomy for me. And I just, and it was always the days that I had to be on campus. I just wouldn't want to go. I'd be tired. Um... I just wouldn't feel like it so I would sleep and then make it to my afternoon class and you're not supposed to do that but those hours most definitely do start to rack up so actually towards the end of my semester I almost got kicked out and kicked out as in I would have had to leave in the middle of the semester with like two three weeks left so um there were like some issues. I actually ended up getting really, really sick. Uh, I'm gonna say like the end of September, beginning of October, I got a stomach bug, but it was like, I've had a stomach bug before, but this stomach bug was legit winning. Like Jordan versus the stomach bug, the stomach bug was for sure winning. I got sick on a Wednesday and then Thursday, I could barely keep my eyes open, legit falling asleep on and off, on and off, on and off. And then, I got luckily kind of I got sick Wednesday after school so I did go to my class that morning I mean I did go to school that entire day and then I got that afternoon when I got home I got sick and then Thursday I was so sick and so tired throwing up for like 9 13 hours straight um I'd sip water throw it right back up it was so bad so then that Thursday the day after and I'm not throwing up anymore I was just so weak couldn't keep my eyes open, falling asleep, feeling lightheaded, laying on the floor. Laying on the floor was the only thing that seemed to help because it was cold. And that was that. Friday, I said, all right, girl, you got to get it together. Like, let's, let's get it back together. I couldn't. I ended up going to the doctor and pretty much he told me because I have nothing in my system, my body is legit eating at muscle fat and everything else just to give me some type of energy. So I promise you, you're going to eat and you're going to feel better. So... Of course, if you ever had a stomach bug or food poisoning or anything that legit just makes you nonstop throwing up and using the bathroom, you don't want to eat anything. You don't want to put anything in your system because who wants to throw up again? And throwing up is so rough on the body. And I was all just a little bit of a TMI, but we're honest, honey. So that is what's happened. And I was, I missed school. And unfortunately, during the semester, I did have a close friend of me pass away. And so when it was time to attend her funeral, I asked my professor, like, hey, if I have a funeral to attend tomorrow, is there any way that I can, you know, is it going to be excused? And she told me she had to check with the education office. And so then I checked with the education office and they told me, actually, you're over your hours. So like I said, we are allowed to miss up to 37.5 and I was at 42.3, I think. Uh, yeah, I was at like something around that. Um, and I, she like... Uh, printed out my attendance and I was like okay well I was actually just sick like last week and she was like was it excused and I said uh yeah I emailed my professor and told her that like I'm sick and I'm not coming in and pretty much she was just saying that like they don't accept doctor's notes and just telling your professor you're sick isn't okay and so then I went into my handbook because how are you gonna tell me you don't accept the doctor's note how are you gonna tell a nursing student I can tell any student you don't accept doctor's notes like we're not in the middle of a pandemic and people get sick so um the handbook said that they do accept doctor's notes especially if it is covid pending and i actually think i have a picture or i think i may still have the doctor's note itself 
but my doctor's note and my reason for being excused was COVID pending results. So legit urgent care was on my side. I was luckily able to get my absence excused, but my um, advisor told me, she was like, you can't miss no more days. So that was kind of like the attendance fiasco. So I talked about my schedule, my like my schedule and like how we did it and my attendance and hybrid. So now let's get into kind of like the kind of like the program itself or just like what it was. So as a first semester, as a first term is what we're called or first quarter, as the first term students, we did not get a clinical experience. So there are four quarters, term semesters. I refer to them as semesters. So there are four semesters and the first semester students didn't go, get to go to clinical because we, I guess, the school doesn't have that many like places or facilities that would take students especially because again like we are still in the middle of a pandemic a lot of places weren't taking students a lot of places weren't taking clinical students so as a first semester we didn't go we never went out to a facility so for one day a week i would have virtual clinical and then my second day i would have skills lab and i actually hated my skills lab i loved my professor but i I felt like I didn't really learn anything in skills lab to be honest as a first semester student you should be able to and not everybody but like have an idea of what you're doing you know taking blood pressure and pulse and doing a head to toe and honestly I don't know how to do any of those if we're just being honest and I can watch a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I can like practice on others but like I don't know how to do it at all if I was to get tested on it like right now, I'd fail for sure. And that's all I'm going to say about that one. So, um, yeah, I almost got kicked out, not only because of attendance, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I would have been repeating my first semester if I failed one of my classes and not if I failed, but my anatomy class, anatomy is very, very hard. And it seems like anatomy is always my enemy, always, no matter what I do, anatomy is always my enemy. So I was taking anatomy and luckily at the school, there was just one anatomy program, not program, but just one anatomy class. So how some schools are anatomy one and two or anatomy one, two, three, four, this was just one anatomy. So I do not have to worry about this anymore. So I, was doing pretty good in all my other classes. Um, relatively, you know, I was passing. Was I getting straight A's? No, but I was passing. And <clears throat> and my anatomy class was just killing me. So my professor, I don't know if it was my professor or just the class itself, but we were very, very test heavy and it wasn't bouncing out like we were very very test heavy and very very little very very little homework no homework no labs no papers no nothing very very little so a lot of midway through what your like week seven eight because i'm i was in a 13 for my this semester was 13 weeks so kind of right around like week six or seven midterm grade that was like strongly based off of at least three or four tests with two labs that didn't weigh that much and a paper. Yeah, so what your grade was is what you had. So to make a very long story short, I was, 75 is passing for this school. And as of two weeks ago, we took a test, we did everything. As of two weeks ago, I had a 70.08 and I need is 75 to pass and I had to get a I had to get an 88 on my freaking final to pass with like a 75.06 and that's not hard but I was legit trying to turn water into wine on a final so um I I think I, I don't know if I actually did but the luckily with this school 
I kind of feel like this like little part of my mind is all over the place. Luckily with the school, the last last week of the program, they gave us off that entire week. So you didn't go, not the program, the last last week of the semester, you didn't go in at all unless it was for your final. So I had off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thursday, I took my fundamentals final. And then Friday, I took my anatomy final. So um, my fundamentals class was actually pretty easy. And actually, I didn't even tell you guys what I took this semester. Wow, that's so bad of me. I took anatomy, um, anatomy and physiology, nursing fundamentals one, nursing clinical one, and professional awareness, which is kind of like, it's kind of like a history of nursing a little bit, plus kind of like a student class. I don't know, I'll insert a description here of like what the class was about um but yeah I took that those other three classes I did fine in I wasn't struggling with at all I wasn't like getting nervous or anxious about what I had to get on my final to pass I knew I could have took a on actually on my on those three finals I knew I could have took at least a 65 and still been passing and not struggling but this one I had to get an 88 and I was freaking stressed and actually at 88 would have put me at a 74 point like five six or eight six one of those and a 90 would have put me at a 75.06 I remember because I was doing the what if grades god bless that thing I was doing the what if grades on what I had to get so Thursday I came home I napped yes Thursday I took my fundamentals final in the morning came home came home eight knocked out so then I said okay I know I'm not gonna get sleep and so pretty much from, let's say like seven, Thursday, seven o'clock, thir uh, seven, eight, nine o'clock. I think it was more like eight or nine, between like eight and nine o'clock. I said, this time, and I'm not gonna sleep. I told myself, I said, you're not gonna go to sleep. Just stay up, study all night. And I know that's really bad to do, but I'm personally someone who, like I can't prep for something for an entire week. Like my brain is gonna start to get overload, but I kind of was doing that. I was glimpsing at the study guide, uh, teams meeting, um, listening to recordings from the class. And I was feeling confident, but I was not feeling confident at all. If we're just being honest. So I was studying, 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 studying all night, sitting here at my desk, looking at my iPad, my computer screen and my phone screen, three screens, head on a hundred killing an energy drink and so it started to creep around four o'clock and i said okay go to sleep for one hour wake up at five o'clock we're back at it fell asleep woke up killed it had to take my mom to work well my my i had to take my mom to work but she drove and so while she was driving i'm sitting i don't think you guys are gonna be able to see this but i'm sitting crisscross applesauce hey i'm sitting crisscross applesauce in the freaking front seat with my iPad, with both of my AirPods in, and luckily I have the pros, so I threw the noise cancellation on. So both AirPods and iPad and a moving car, writing. I think I actually have my, let me pull it up. Okay, I found it. So I recommend everybody get an iPad. It's legit the best thing ever. So this, and maybe I can actually screen record it and put it in. Um, so I'll flip it this way. This okay, so this was the final, and um, my last class before my final for anatomy, we went over, she went over the review for us, and she was asking us questions what is this, what is that? I wrote it down, and I actually have that one. I don't like sloppy notes. I wrote that one down, you know, tinnitus, pH blood, universal donor, universal receiver. I was writing it down. Oh, you guys can't even really see it. Like a scroll, scooch forward. So I was writing legit everything down, coloring, highlighting. It starts to get sloppy because we were moving fast. But on top of doing that, I also voice memoed it. And I have that on my phone. So then my entire class and one of the girls, she typed up everything. So I'm the type of person, if I retype it, if I'm saying it as I'm typing it, I remember. So then that night I was studying, I retyped everything. I think it was like 16 pages. Everything, everything. I didn't get this far because I was freaking running to my mom to work. So then 
I ran back on the voice memo, looking at the notes I wrote, and then that's where, like, you see, like, some of these small notes that I wrote, like, here. And so you see some of the notes, and some of these notes were from the recording, or just, like, little things to help me remember. And honestly, it helped me so much. So <laughs> I needed to get an 88, like I told you guys, and I got an 80. I wasn't mad at it. I was like, oh my freaking God, even if I don't pass a class for the semester, I just got an 80. But with this program, uh, points were always added because, you know, professors make mistakes. Um, like one of the questions on the test, um, it was, what is the narrowest part of the lungs? What is the narrowest part of the lungs? And um, like the options were there. And like for Apex, my professor spelled it A- semicolon ex so like we got points for stuff like that because like that was their mistake cool whatever so i ended up getting six points back i got an 86 and then attendance still counted and got legit god bless my girlfriend god bless that lady she actually went back to one of my other tests and added an extra point and so i passed exactly with a 75 god bless her i'm getting her a freaking gift when i go back to school so um, that, like, if I wouldn't have passed, I would have gotten kicked, I wouldn't have gotten kicked out, but I would have had to repeat my semester. And it was one of those, you repeat that semester, but you just repeat that one class, just to focus on that one class. And who wants to do that? Like, no, I, I would, I would have been going to school three times a week for just that one class from eight to 1045. And you might think like, okay, well, like, that's not bad, but it's like a waste. I, n I just didn't want to do it. So I legit, and like, excuse my language, I legit studied my ass off. And then um, I was actually on the phone with my best friend because I we got the results back Friday. I was on the phone with her and I got the notification from Canvas that grade had been updated and I saw my grade and I screamed to the top of my lungs, legit screamed. And I wanted to cry so bad. I was so happy. I was shaking with joy. And honestly, like I'm not one who's really big on prayer. Um, but like more recently, especially with school, I have, and especially with exams and I prayed so hard. I prayed harder than I ever prayed before for this test. And I just like I wanted to cry oh my god even just thinking about it now I don't even think like I really fully processed like the emotions but just thinking about it now like I passed and it's just like I legit want to thank god legit want to thank god and two like that just shows like how hard I studied it oh my god I feel like I'm about to freaking cry but yes I was so I feel like you can see the glare on my glasses if I go this way yes I'll face this way um I was so happy, so freaking happy. Like, ah, uh, uh, it was such a good feeling and screamed. I wish she was screen recording me, but I didn't, we didn't know when results were going to get back in. So I was just like shaking with joy and it was, uh, it was such a good feeling. So that's that. Um, so like, just kind of like the last like three things that like I wouldn't go over because again, this is just a recap. I don't want to tell you guys. A whole synopsis of like my entire semester because I should have filmed for that but um I should have just filmed for that but <clears throat> I and I think anybody and everybody especially nursing students but especially people who are in school can just like speak on the lack of motivation so when I was when I was in the process of failing my anatomy class and possibly in the process of getting kicked out for attendance, I just had zero motivation. I told myself I don't care. And I remember I was crying and I was saying that I don't think I want to be a nurse. And was it I the fact that I didn't want to be a nurse because I was failing or is it the fact that like I just knew I didn't want to be a nurse? I had zero motivation. I did not care if they said we're letting you go. If you know, if they said we're kicking you out because of your attendance, I would have. I think I would have said okay and kept it moving. Like, did not care. I told my mom. Pretty sure I told my mom I want to drop out. I'm so serious. And she told me finish out the semester. 
um but then like apply to be a flight attendant and my mom is actually a flight attendant and she absolutely loves it and since from the time she started she has said that she can see me and my sister doing it and I've always said like that if nursing didn't work out I would become like a full-time bartender I love bartending I do I don't I hate bartending but I love bartending and sometimes I think I just hate it because like where I work sometimes but I like I I like I like talking to people especially like my bar regulars I like them I like when they come in I like having a conversation with them I don't know sometimes I'm like this is fun I love this like I love bartending and some days I'm like you yeah, know but um I've always said that and my mom's like oh I can see you as a flight attendant so legit to the point where and I think I have the screen I I know I have the conversation I texted my mom and said do you want me to wait for you to get home or should I start flight attendant applications and she said wait for me till I get home and I was very very serious about it yeah I just I just did not care like to finish nursing school and it's bad because it's something that I've wanted to do probably for as long as I can remember and it was kind of one of those things where it's like I don't have a plan b like if I go back to school for something I I don't know what I'm going back to school for like I don't have a plan there's nothing else I want to do and so yeah that was that so kind of like just to wrap up this entire thing reflections and what I learned and took away from this semester and like things that I'm going to apply into my next semester are I need to apply myself more throughout the semester and I feel like that is growth if you can admit to that but I for sure need I need to face this way because of the glare I for sure need to apply myself more next semester and overall just go really hard throughout the semester though so that when finals come around i'm not oh my god i have to basically turn water into wine to pass that, that was so stressful and legit who wants that stress and that anxiety on them um and just like i, I don't know that's i think that's like the biggest thing i took away is that like go so hard so that when finals come around it's a walk in the park it's a you can take a low grade and still pass you know um a lot of things that i'll be applying next semester are taking better no notes being an active listener um you know really utilizing my um really utilizing my resources that i have at hand which is my classmates I'm not someone who's big on study groups for the simple fact that I don't like when multiple people are talking. And so I kind of have to get out of that or just like find a study group that really works for me. So I don't know, I'm, I'm excited. Like the, the, the most things that I took overall are like utilize my resources and like go go hard throughout the semester. So that's that. I don't want, again, this was just a recap video. I didn't want to make this too long. I didn't want to go rambling and explain to you from day one to the very end on everything that happened this semester. This is just a recap. But yes, I am actually going to start editing this video right freaking now so that you guys can get it tonight. I'm so excited to officially be back. I will, I'm filming this entire week. It's my week in the life. I'll be most definitely filming weeks in the life and like a day in the life and more sit down chit chat videos i'm going to become more active on my nursing page oh my freaking god i made that page over a year ago and i've i, I treat it like how i treat this youtube which really is really bad because i want to do this stuff i like filming i like editing i like posting i'm i'm i like being like in the social media aspect i really do i like i, I enjoy all of it i just have to apply myself so um for sure first semester kind of taught me how to balance my schedule especially with youtube and going to work and having to run on a clock because daylight natural daylight is my best friend for filming so um i'm most definitely back i say this every time but i'm for sure back and it feels good i feel good at this school so freaking good i feel like this is this is gonna be the one this is gonna work for sure um i'm a second semester let's not forget Two more to go after, you know, once I start this one, two more to go. I feel good here. I feel good with the school. I'm confident with my choice. And yeah, I, I think that's everything.
Uh, we're gonna figure out a new school. We're gonna figure out a new posting schedule. We're figuring out all of it. Thank you guys so much for watching and sticking it out with me and being patient with me and coming back for when I post things, which is, I know, so freaking sparingly. So do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will most definitely see you in my next video. Bye.